17 of the contestants. I won the speaker's uh, seat. I was beaten out of the county assembly and uh, I never got an opportunity to be sworn in. So I've simply come back to come and reclaim my seat of 2017. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, my colleagues who are contesting against me will agree with me that my swearing was postponed to 2022. So I've come here to reclaim what was mine. But over and above that, I want the people of Migori to address the issue of fairness in this election of speaker. As we are speaking here, whether by design, whether by omission, what has emerged is that all the substantive seats elected have moved to one side. Migori has two major communities. It has the Luo community, it has the Kuria community. Now when you look at how the seats have been distributed, the governor's seat is on the Luo side, the senator seat is on the Luo side, the woman representative seat is on the Luo side. The only seat which has remained is the speaker seat. Now the question is, if all of us are living in this county, isn't it unfair, surely, that all these seats should belong to one category of people in a multi, you know, uh, uh, mixed society? So my candidature is not only personal, but it is intended to correct that imbalance. Uh, on issues of qualification, I'm qualified like everybody else. But on the issue of fairness, everybody else is being unfair. So we, we, we want that imbalance corrected so that Nigori can have a balance of leadership. One seat for the Kuria community in the county assembly, three seats in governance for the rest of the people. That way we shall have harmony. Now, other than that, I am one of those leaders who believe that the county assembly should be run by an independent person who has not been nominated, who has not been prior nominated by the executive. It makes nonsense of the whole thing. For instance, if a governor decides that to go and vote for so and so in the county assembly to be a speaker. Now, how will one preside over a house which is supposed to check and oversight the executive when he has been selected by the same executive. Or as they say here, I'm told the word they use here is blessing. So how will you <laughs> oversight the county assembly? How will you oversight the, the executive when your blessings come from the executive? So I'm one of those few candidates who believe that the time has come when the county assembly should be left to choose its speaker. So that when there is an issue that exists between the executive and the county assembly, the county assembly can independently address that issue. 